and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, good news. Water SPFs have finally come to the UK. Now, I am not an SPF purist. I'm not somebody that slathers themselves in an SPF 50 every single day, and I've been really honest and open about it. I have, however, worn an SPF every single day of my entire life in my makeup to here. Zero sun damage and missed out here, which is why I put a low neck top on so you can see what happens to your skin. Everybody, if you don't wear an SPF every day, you get sun damage. But why don't I like using an SPF every day? Because most of them are thick and gunky and occlusive and don't sit well under makeup. Until now. An SPF trend I can 100% get behind. Water SPFs. I remember being two places either side of the world. I remember being in LA, sitting around a pool at the Beverly Hills Hotel on a press trip, being horribly spoiled, and somebody got out this and started spraying themselves. And before I could see what it was, I sort of thought, why on earth are they sort of spraying themselves with hairspray? This is Kula, an SPF 50 spray available at Space NK, which is super excited because it's finally here. And essentially, I mean, it's got a lockable, twistable cap, and then what you do, and let me make sure I have opened that, is you spray it and you get a super fine mist of completely lightweight SPF 50. Now, here are the arguments against using an SPF spray. The fact is you probably don't apply them as thickly as you do if you slather yourself in cream. But my argument is go for an SPF 50 and even if you're using half of what they say you should be using per square centimeter per square inch of skin you're still going to get really good protection even if you apply a third you're still going to get a relatively high level of protection so use a water-based spf use a spray just go for an spf 50 if you're a bit worried now I've chosen the unscented one because I believe it's the one that you can use on all skin types. You can even use these on your face. They are non-occlusive. They're super, super, super lightweight. Yes, they have a carrier in them, but the carrier evaporates. You get a slightly squeaky feeling that you'll know you get. Okay, so if you use a uh, vitamin C like uh, SkinCeuticals, CE Ferulic, you'll know that feeling. It's the carrier feeling that's left, slightly squeaky on your skin infinitely preferable to being thick and white and silvery and covered in gunk. I didn't think I was going to love these as much as I do. My god, I love every single product I'm about to talk about. So, I was in LA, I saw that, and then I remember snorkeling in the Maldives. My god, this makes me sound like such a spoiled person. Bearing in mind, when I was a beauty editor on magazines, I got to travel for work. I wasn't actually paying for these. Still makes me spoiled anyway. And I could see all of these beautiful pale-skinned people from China and Hong Kong and Japan spraying themselves with what looked like hairspray, snorkeling all day and the sun wasn't touching their skin. And they were using Biore water essence, which you can buy if you're in America or the UK or Europe off of Amazon, but it needs to be imported from Japan. And again, they're all the same technology. They are super lightweight aerosol SPFs. If you hate wearing an SPF if you've got a child that you cannot like tie down and put a sticky cream on you can literally stand them there and spray them down right let me show you another one that I really like so if you're obsessed with organic skincare and a lot of people are I totally understand it this is Soleil Toujours also available from Space NK exactly the same super lightweight Oh, it smells like sherbet. <laughs> it smells quite nice. I chose the unscented one before. This doesn't come in an option. This is an SPF 15. So if you come down in an SPF, please make sure you spray every inch of skin. The lovely Ruth Crilly was testing some products and she missed, she was basically saying how brilliant these water SPFs are. And uh, it's very interesting because I think she was testing the Ombre Solaire one and she was saying, Absolutely, it was as efficient as a cream, but she did miss a patch, which is quite easy to do if you can't actually see where the product's going. And then she did burn on that one patch that was just not covered in SPF at all. This is when we were having a discussion on Instagram about the fact that if you're using a spray, please just be extra careful in the back of your mind that you spray every inch of skin. It's very easy just to do this and not think about it. Literally put it across your skin 
and do that. Move slowly, go up and down as if you're spray painting a car. Right, so they're the super high end and I can't wait to test them when I go on holiday for my birthday in a couple of weeks time. Don't worry, I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna be testing them in the baking equatorial sun. So that will be the ultimate test. But let's have a look what's available on the high street. I love Ombre Solaire. I grew up with Ombre Solaire. At this point, I feel like I should grab a picture of me in a white bikini bottom when I was 18 in an Ombre Solaire Factor 4 oil. We didn't know any better. It was the early 80s, forgive us. Um, Ombre Solaire have created two really good UV water products, an SPF 30, which is the one I would obviously recommend, and an SPF 20, but they're both so good. Now these, I'm going to show you the SPF 30 in action. They're biphasic, uh, so they've got um, a, a tiny little bit of uh, an emollient in them. So they're not as lightweight as the Cooler and the Soleil Toujours, but they are really easy to use and super good value for money. So you take the top off and shake well. Now these aren't aerosols, they're pump action but they're super lightweight. Now, I would be tempted to do that afterwards. That's the smell of summer. Ombre Solaire is the smell of summer. I am, honestly, I did not think I would love these products as much as I do. They're such great products to use if, like me, you hate heavy, occlusive, gunky creams anywhere on your body. That just feels like your skin, but better. They've got a little bit of glycerin, a little bit of hyaluronic acid in them. So they've got all that sort of super light essence water serum feeling to them. No heavy, occlusive, gunky creams. No chin breakouts. I always break out when I wear a heavy SPF. So there's the UV water from Ombre Solaire, 3020 and Vichy, which I obviously love. I'm always a huge fan of Vichy. Also have two in the Ideal Soleil range. Now, what I love about these is they're both SPF 30s, which obviously I'm going to say that you should use the higher SPF if you're thinking about using a spray. But what I love one is they've got a hydrating one and they've got a sublime enhanced tan one. If you see the difference, one is very slightly more tinted and it gives you more of a sheen, right? Let me show you on the back of my hand so you can have a look. Again, so easy to use. Shake, spray, that's the hydrating one. See, it's slightly milkier, but I mean super lightweight. I mean, I'm covering myself in SPF here and I've got literally zero feeling on my skin. That's so beautiful for dry skins. So, so beautiful. You can't really smell anything there. And then this is the one I obviously am going to love. It's the, um, subtle sublime enhanced tan now i've got my hand piece on but i'm still going to spray it on lighter weight so subtly scented lighter weight um that's actually got more of a more of an oil feel to it almost that make it sound like it's going to be oily but it's not it's just got, that one's hydrating, that one's more of a soft glow feeling to the skin. Does that make sense? I want to say it's slightly oilier because to me it does feel more, more almost like a finishing product to the skin, but they're both really beautiful. I'm not sure if you can really see any difference to the skin. That one looks slightly more tanned. I think that's got almost like a hint of color in it. <gasps> SPFs I love. Now you know that every single day I like to use a physical SPF, that's a mineral, titanium or iron oxide SPF on my face. For example, today I'm wearing It Cosmetics CC Cream SPF 30, quite thickly for filming, down to here. But for now, I finally got something I can spray on the rest of my body with impunity and not feel like a walking, sticky, disgusting mess. Yay for water SPFs. One piece of advice, please go extra careful on the SPF rating, i.e. go up to an SPF 50 or 30, if you're going to be more prone to sort of being a little bit slapdash of where you spray it. And bearing in mind, because you can't see it go onto your skin, please don't miss any areas because you will burn. Just because you do, I mean, you see it with people who wear creams, just because you do this doesn't mean to say you're missing out on here, 
or here. You know those areas people always burn, the edge of their bikinis here and here and at the back. That's my review of the latest water SPFs. Shh, I really love them. Now here's the thing, I don't think hardcore mineral SPF fans, occlusive gunky SPF 50 fans are gonna love these products, but the vast majority of people don't use an SPF properly because they don't like the feeling of it. And these are your best offer if that's you. That's me. Every day I wear an SPF 30 mineral SPF from here to here. At last I found something that I can put on the rest of my body with impunity without walking around feeling like a sticky, slidey, greasy, gunky mess. I really love them. Tell me if you've discovered any water SPFs that you really love. I've gone from high end straight the way down to the high street here and with the exception of the fact that some are in aerosols, really you can't tell that much of a difference. I really love them. Who ever thought I would say I would fall in love with an SPF? Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Let me know if you've used any water SPFs below, what your experience with them has been, and if you really like any of the brands that I haven't mentioned here, including the Biore, the Japanese one that we just can't get hold of in the UK, but we need to bring it over here. We have Biore skincare, why not bring over the Biore water SPF essence? Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon.